Hi and welcome to the 10 square meter workshop. A very useful accessory when you have a CNC machine is what's called a pendant or job box. You have to set the work zero of every job manually before you start and this makes it a lot easier. You can buy these commercially or you can make one. Coming up after this. As I say, you can buy these, so why would I make one? Well, there's two reasons. Firstly, I hate buying something I can make. And secondly, and more importantly, they don't do the job quite the way I would want to do it. Here is a typical commercial unit. As you can see, it has a large wheel, called a jog wheel, that allows you to adjust the channel. But first you have to select which axis you're going to use on one dial, and what gain you want on the other. To me this is a bit confusing. You need to keep changing the axes as you hone in on the value you're after. I also don't see the point of the emergency stop button. You're not going to need this when jogging. And when it's running I have a large switch on the wall within easy reach. I want a more joystick approach, rather like a game controller. I can do this with buttons. I could 3D print a box specially for this task, but instead for simplicity I shall use this standard project box, along with buttons and switches left over from previous projects. At the heart of the project will be this Arduino Nano, a very cheap and easy to program microcontroller. First job was to cover the front panel with a label to allow laying out of the button positions. Once marked out, it's ready for drilling. Here it is with holes drilled, and here with the buttons and switches fitted. Here it is in a lash-up form for testing purposes. Now it's working, I need to box it. And here it is neatened up a bit. Still untidy, but it'll do. There was a slot in the end of the case, left over from a previous project. So I decided to print a 3D handle for it, to fill the space. And so this is the printed part, and here it is, fitted in place. The circuit really couldn't get much simpler. I can publish the software if anyone is interested. There's a lot to be said for writing it yourself. You'll learn a lot. It plugs into the main board using the socket at the bottom left, the panel due socket. It takes the three pins on the right hand side of the socket. My CNC machine is mounted sideways on. It fits better in the position there and it makes it easy to change tools while in the home position. It does mean that Y is left and right and X is forward and back. When I'm establishing work zero, I don't want to do those sort of calculations in my head. So the buttons on my pendant match the perceived direction of the head. So the up and down buttons move it that way, and the cross buttons that way. Up and down, of course, well, as you, you would expect. So here's how the box turned out. Away and towards, left and right, up and down, with a switch to select small, medium, large and extra large for the step size. For X and Y, that's 0 0.1, 1, 10 and 100 millimeters. For the Z axis, these are divided by 10, 0 0.01, 0 0.1, 1 and 10, because the X axis one needs to be more precise, and two doesn't have as much movement in the first place. So what is a small switch for? Well, once you've established work zero, the last thing you do before running your program is to put the dash shoe on. But with it, when it's at work zero, there isn't room. So you can lift the head by enough to put the brush on, then lower it again. And for safety, when in the up direction, 
none of the other buttons work. I think I'm going to find this new accessory very useful and will save time when setting up jobs. I encourage you to build something similar. I hope you enjoyed this. Why not subscribe? See you next time.